this one was a stupid mistake. So if you have one of these, a diesel truck, then you know what this is. Here's the tale of our DEF failure and how it cost us $330. So as many of you know, Lynn and I and our granddaughter Carrie are getting ready to head off Sunday for a 5,000 mile round trip to go to the Grand Canyon. We're really, really excited about it. As part of getting ready for that, we've been working on packing. We, uh, we actually purchased a new RV. Uh, we've had our, our Ram 2500 diesel truck for three years now, and it's been a great truck. Uh, we put new tires on it. We've done lots of things. Last week when we were out, uh, I told Lynn that since we were heading so far, it would be a good idea if we went ahead and filled up the DEF. And for those of you who don't know what DEF is, it's um, the diesel admissions fluid, I think is what it stands for. It's basically uh, urine, uh, and it's, it makes the diesel fuel not smell, and it's supposedly better for the environment. But I told her that we probably needed to not use the Walmart brand of the DEF and fill up with the name brand, which is sitting beside of me here. It's made by Peak. It's called Blue DEF. You'll see these boxes all over campgrounds, and people, people with diesels carry these things around. They're notorious for going bad. They're notorious for having a short shelf life. So if you're going to put this in your truck, let me tell you what happened to us. So here I am. I'm thinking we need to protect this. We're going on this long trip. So instead of spending... Uh, not quite as much in getting the Walmart brand, we decided we would just get the, the most expensive brand, which is the DEF, uh, made by, by Peak. So we did that. I brought it home, and even though I had about a half a tank already still in there, filled it up the rest of the way, and I thought, as my Canadian friends would say, Bob's your uncle, we're ready to go. About 300 miles after we put this DEF in, the check engine light on the truck went, on, went off. So I thought, oh gosh, I've got water in the fuel again. So last Thursday, there were a few things still left on the maintenance list for the truck. We needed to get the air filter changed, and we needed to get the fuel filters changed. So I went to uh, a local place to do that. And while I was there, I had them double check the codes that were showing, because I, I felt like the, the engine light was probably just water in the fuel. But this time it showed that we had a DEF issue. And sure enough, on the way home from getting the air filter and fuel filter changed, it, it flashed up a warning that I could go 200 more miles, and then after that I could only go 5 miles an hour, that I had a DEF issue and I needed to see the dealer. So, I read and read and read and did a ton of research, tried to do lots of things to fix it, disconnected the batteries, did everything I could possibly do. It was a permanent error in there and it wasn't going to go away. So I called and made an appointment Friday to go to our local Ram dealer and have some service done. That's when I got this bill yesterday, $328.27. Because the DEF that I put in from Blue Def Peak was bad. They had to drain the tank. They kept a sample of it for me, but they had to drain the tank they had to clean everything, take the tank off, completely dry it out, rinse it out, and put it back in. And it's been fine since I've done that. But I'm, I'm making this video because, you know, sometimes you, you take a lot of precautions and you do things differently when you do that sometimes. And in this case, I bought the name brand instead of buying the Walmart brand. And apparently the Walmart brand flies off the shelf. These guys don't fly off the shelf at Walmart. There's a way to check the code to see if it's out of date, and, and, and I'll do that from now on. There's also a, a little strip you can get to check to see how, I don't know the right word for it, how much pee is in the water in these DEFs uh, so, that, so that you know they're actually working and doing what they're supposed to do. And I plan to check that from now on. But I put this in my Ram truck, and within 24 hours of doing that, I had to spend $328 and be without my truck for three days. Um, I, I think that's a lesson learned. Um, I know we're, we're looking forward to going to the Grand Canyon and we're doing everything we can possibly do to make sure the trip is successful and I think anybody in their right mind would. Uh, but I do caution you 
if you put DEF in your diesel engine, there, there are a lot of things you learn the hard way. This is one of them for us. This is a $330 tuition for us to know that the name brand doesn't always mean that it's the best and you might want to just keep doing what you normally do. Many of you may have suggestions of what other folks can do to keep this from happening to them and I hope you'll put those comments down below. If you have videos that, that relate to this same subject, I hope that you will um, link them here too because uh, it's expensive and had this happened on the trip, it, it had the potential to completely ruin our trip over a fourteen dollar two and a half gallon box of urine and that that sucks more than you could ever you could ever understand so uh, lesson learned uh, we're, we'll, we'll let you know if we learn anything else on this trip we're going maybe close to six thousand miles so I'm pretty sure there are going to be other lessons that we learn but until then, we appreciate you checking in with us and I hope you'll subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. We hope you'll check back often and we'll be sure to put what we learn and what we experience out here for you guys so that you can learn from our stupid mistakes. This one was a stupid mistake.